we're going to be palpating the muscle adductor longus. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring the leg up into what we call a figure four position. So I'm going to bring the foot up towards the knee. I'm going to put my knee on the table and then I'm going to drop the leg towards myself. So this puts the adductors in a bit of a shortened but also kind of lengthened position, but it gives me access to the inside of the thigh. So this muscle is a flexor and a deductor, so I am bringing it up into flexion. And now when I ask her to activate it, all she's gonna have to do is bring her knee towards the center of her body. So again, adductor longus is gonna be originating on the pubis. So for this, I'm gonna ask my partner here to border. So she's gonna place her hand over top of genitalia, creating a border for me so I do not cross and accidentally make contact. And I'm going to then follow up what I believe is the adductor muscle towards the pubic bone. So I'm placing my hand in that proximal aspect of the medial thigh. I'm actually gonna switch hands for a second. And I'm gonna take my other hand and place it on the inside of her knee and ask her to bring her knee across her body. And what I'm gonna feel is a muscle that starts to lift up right in this area here. Great. Now there may be two muscles that lift up and it might actually feel like one large one. So if that is the indication with your person that you're palpating on, it's the first one. So if you're starting from anterior and working your way back, it's going to be the first muscle that's lifting up. So this is adductor longus and I'm going to follow adductor longus up towards the bordering hand until I make contact with the body of the pubis. So my middle finger right here is currently on the tendon, just gently going back and forth, and I can feel a bony object right there. If she gently starts to bring her knee across her body, good. My finger's gonna get lifted up, and then it drops back down. So this is the origin of adductor longus, the body of the pubis. Again, we've already found a little bit of its muscle belly. We can follow that down. You can use a grasping motion, and I'm gonna get her and get her to lift up and hold for a second. Good, and as I work my way down the thigh, I'm actually gonna to start to lose it, and that is because it's starting to go down towards its insertion. So it's fairly superficial in the mid belly and towards the origin, but as it works its way towards the insertion, it's gonna to start to go deeper and dive towards the femur. Go ahead and relax. So as she relaxes, I'm gonna sink my fingers and hook them towards the femur, and if you look, I'm approximately halfway down the thigh. So our insertion is the middle of this linea aspera, which is on the posterior aspect of the femur. So you might call it the medial lip of the linea aspera, and again, that's midway down. So that is gonna be our insertion. Again, one last time, this muscle is doing flexion and adduction as its two primary actions, but some textbooks will also reference a rotational component. I'm just leaving that out for now. That's gonna conclude our palpation of adductor longus.